Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang. In 2017, I found myself in $152,000 of grad school student loan debt and combined that with my credit card, my car loan, and my undergraduate student loans, I ended up being in $200,000 worth of debt. Ouch. Here's my story. For years, I ignored my debt to the point where I was just too scared to even look at my bank account and the only time I ever knew how much money I had in my account or lack thereof was when I would get overdraft alerts. I would delete phone calls and emails immediately from creditors and anytime I would get any bill in the mail, I would just throw it away because I was at a point where I couldn't even afford to pay them even if I wanted to. I thought I would always live paycheck to paycheck. I thought financial anxiety would always be a part of my life until I had to confront my financial reality when I almost had to euthanize my dog because I couldn't afford his life-saving care. In August 2017, I had to rush my youngest dog Luke to the ER and we were there for eight hours waiting to be seen and during that eight hour period, I watched people having to make the impossible decision of either needing to take out an extra line of credit so they could afford their life-saving care for their animal or having to euthanize their pet because they couldn't afford that care. When Luke was finally seen, the ER vet found a blockage in his small intestine that needed emergency surgery immediately and of course, I could not afford to pay for it. If it wasn't for my fiance who ended up paying for the surgery, I would have had to make the impossible decision of either euthanizing my otherwise healthy one-year-old puppy or going further into debt to be able to afford the surgery. Fortunately, Luke is alive and well, still with us to this day, but that moment right there forced me to re-examine my relationship with money. When I was younger, I was told that it was totally okay to go into six-figure student loan debt because once you graduate, you'll be able to get a high-paying job and pay off your student loans quickly but we all know that that's not necessarily true. For me, I graduated with two degrees, had no real secure high paying job at the end of it, and it kept me in this cycle of never having enough money to get ahead. And because no one taught me the financial basics, I didn't even know where to start, even if I wanted to improve my financial health. So I just always thought that I would be in debt, I always thought I would struggle with money, but it wasn't until my incident with Luke where it forced me to want to become more financially healthy. The moment Luke left the hospital, I dug deep into all things finance. I watched YouTube videos, read um, books and blog posts, listened to podcasts, all with the intention of teaching myself the financial basics that I should have learned probably in middle school. How to budget, how to make more money, how to properly take out student loan debt and then pay off that debt, the importance of having an emergency fund, what is a high yield savings account, how to properly use a credit card, again, all things that everyone needs to know. So the first thing I did was I built a small emergency fund. From my experience, Luke's emergency surgery cost in total about $5,000. So that is something that I built up very quickly. And then once I paid off all of my debts, I was able to then build a larger emergency fund that would include not only an emergency fund for my dogs, but also funds for six months of expenses for myself and my fiance. For the first time in my life, after fully paying off my debts and building a fully funded emergency fund, I finally felt financially secure. You know, I don't regret the financial mistakes I made in the past because I was able to learn from them, but to make sure that I never get back to that position again, I always budget. I budget every Sunday. It's kind of my like a part of my Sunday routine. And I save up for 
everything. I try to cash flow as much as I can. Like I'm currently trying to cash flow for a wedding, for a vacation, um, for a dog training. All of that stuff has really allowed me to stay ahead of my finances and make sure that I'm prepared for things that I want. But more importantly, I never make financial decisions unless I fully understand what I'm getting myself into. Fortunately, Bankrate offers a ton of free resources to help you stay on track of your finances. Like back in the day, if I took the Bankrate uh, budgeting course or the Bankrate debt management course, I don't think it would have taken me 10 years to get financially healthy, but that's why I'm here to speak to you all today, to utilize those free resources so you don't end up in a position where I was. So learn from my mistakes. Do not wait for an emergency to get your financial life on track. So head over to bankrate.com and let them help guide you through life's financial journey.